<laughs> if a statue offends you, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> if a word offends you and has power over you, you are a fucking idiot. If you allow a symbol to have any control over you, you are an absolute fucking idiot. Allowing anything to have power over you is a complete and utter mistake. There is absolutely no benefit whatsoever. All you have to do is just think about it. Use your brain. I saw a video by, um, by another YouTuber and they were talking about statues as if they're racist. Statues are not racist. And as for history, those who fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. There's a lot of history that is really fucked up. A lot of horrible stuff has happened. Many tribes, groups of people, lost land, slaughtered, enslaved, killed, um, over and over and over again, people run out. The entire cities burn to the ground. Um, just horrible things. Horrible things. History is just filled with it. It's just one after the other. Civilizations rise. Civilizations fall. People get enslaved. People get killed. But if you look back in history, you can look back and go, wow, we were so primitive. And we didn't know about this. And we didn't know about that. And... We thought this caused this, and this caused that, and we were so stupid. We've evolved. We have evolved. And we are continuing to evolve. And tearing down statues, what does that do? Does it help the kid who's struggling to do what his parents want him to do? in the middle of an inner city somewhere in America and he gets shot by a stray bullet and killed is a statue the removal of a statue is it is it going to fix that no no it's not it's not going to fix it are people going to come back to life no people are not going to come back to life. Yeah, history's fucked up. But we human beings who make civilizations, who make laws, who change laws, we move our society in a better direction the madness that is going on right now is a moral panic. Are there racists? Of course. There are people who are racist. There are people who hate. There was an organization that popped up almost overnight, it seemed to me, called the San Francisco Skinheads. And these were people who called themselves Nazis. And they decided that they were going to go around and start intimidating a lot of the punks in San Francisco. And, uh, no. We weren't having that, and we openly spoke up about it, got into a lot of fights. There was a place called The Pit, in right off of Columbus Avenue. Now there's a building there, but before it was a building that was torn down, so it was just like, you know, it was a pit. Go down from the sidewalk, and you can go down, and you were out of view of any police or people walking by. Obviously, you could hear them, but, you know, we, we could kind of hang out there, drink our beer right before we had to go to the show. And that's what we often did. One time I went in there and there was a friend of mine, uh, a friend of mine, he, he, we started carrying weapons to protect ourselves. I think he had a straight razor. I don't remember exactly because I wasn't there when the fight initially broke out. I came there later with a friend of mine after the, after the fight had, after the fight had broken out. And, um, anyhow, this was a skinhead who was, who was, was slashing up a friend of mine and it was a very bloody bloody scene um all kinds of cuts everywhere just little tiny cuts i pulled the one guy off um 
he ran. Uh, my friend, we ended up taking him to the hospital. But there was a lot of incidents that, that I've encountered hatred. And just no reason. Just hated. Just hated me for whatever reason. Because of who I am. What I represent. I don't know. I don't know why they hated me. But they did. And, um... You know, when you, when you, when you, when you face hatred like that, that's when you realize, that's when you understand actual hatred is. You find out exactly what that is. It's in the heart. That's where it lives. It lives right there. You can project it onto symbols, and you can project it onto statues, and you can project it on a group of people because of this, or you can project it onto that. You can project it anywhere you fucking want. It comes from here. No. The statues of our forefathers are there to remind us of the past. There to remind us of what we once were. To show us how far we have come. Think about it. We've come a long way. Are we perfect? Of course not. We never will be perfect. If you want real change in this world, see it. See the change. If you don't see the change that we have made as a people in the United States for the past 400 years, and all you are focusing on is this little tiny window of our history, you're a fool. Shit. Dispatch calls, oh, we're doing something wicked. 